been drying overnight and uh, <coughs> well, we're going to unclamp it and see the results. Straight in that plane, pretty straight in that plane. This is what we were trying to achieve, just to get these all in line. So when I take this excess off, everything's going to be nice and flat. And that's going to be the next job. next part of the process is to mark out where everything is going to go. So that's going to be the headstock. There's going to be a couple of wings added to that either side. So in the end it will look like that one. And then we know where the 12th fret is going to be, where the heel is going to be, starting from underneath. Uh, the start of the box, 24th fret, roughly where the bridge is and the end of the box. Then that section there is going to be cut off. And then go to this one. And then the edges will be made true. And that piece at the end there will become the heel, as it is on that one, with an insert in between. The wings are now glued on. The template there that I use as well. Get that finish. Uh, the heel. So it will be when it finishes. Um, I'll do it in two stages because I've got this nice rounded edge on here which I want to continue onto the onto the piece of wood here. So it's easier to shape this before I glue it onto here.
Okay, now we want to avoid any breakthrough when we're drilling through here on the other side. So what I'm proposing to do is stick a piece of wood on here, and so when I drill it, it drills into this wood and doesn't break through on the neck. Now to do that, we've got some masking tape on here, and some masking tape on this wood, and we're just going to put a little bit of super glue on there, glue this down, hold it there for a few seconds. This far with the video, there's certain things that we haven't uh, shown on there, and that is we've got it to this stage, and that's just the the rough sort of roughing out stage. Um, and what we need to do, or well, what I do after that, is I take this down by about one and a half mil to get this down to about 17 and a half there thereabouts, but at the same time. I have to keep it, I have to square everything up in that plane and in this plane as well so that everything's dead square and I take it down to seven, uh, yeah, 17 and a half uh, most fretboards I use are about 8 mil so it takes it to about 20, almost 26 and I fashion it all down until I get about 25 mil which is half an inch by the time I've got this fretboard on and then I round over the radius or the back and everything it's about 25 mil, half an inch, uh, when it's actually playing. Um, that's something that's not shown on the video um, but it's very difficult to, well it's not difficult but it's quite boring to show getting rid of the high points, getting it square and everything using a plane on it, using a sander on it, everything else it becomes a bit tedious and I think the, the video is long enough anyway so that's what you're missing and also the tapers that go in there, tapered holes I've done these holes and then I taper it um, to get the machine heads to fit properly so yeah, so the video is basically about roughing out the and as you can see it's quite involved and it takes quite a few hours to do two days actually from start to finish because there's two days of drying time so consequently these necks but it's not just a stick in a box okay see you all later bye for now